Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a Congolese humba tutorial and I will show you how to play a song by NK Divine called Toto. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found it helpful, please comment below and like this video and subscribe for more videos. <music> So this song is in the key of A and the progression is one, two, five, four. You can also play one, four, five, four, depending on how you choose to play the bass line. But, um, but the way I'm playing or the way the, art, the bass guitarist is playing is basically one, two, five, four. And so that is A, B, E, D. So like I explained in my previous video, some of the bass lines in Congolese music tend to use a lot of muting. So a lot of this. And we're going to be using a lot of that in this bass line. So if you don't know this technique for muting, then I suggest you practice it first. So it's simply rest your left hand on the strings, don't press, and just do this. So you're not playing any note, but you're muting because there's a lot of. And it's very, very important that we use our left thumb for this bass line. Very, very important. Um, because we're basically trying to mimic the bass drum and it sounds much better, trust me. Instead of just playing we're playing so in this bass line I'm only covering from minute 244 to minute 315 and this is how it starts playing so you start with the one then so one so the A and then on a G string I'm not playing anything, I'm muting. So I'm playing this. So I'm, I'm resting my left hand on the strings and just doing this. Then I add this. So remember, my left thumb is mimicking the bass drum and where the B is on the, on the E string, I just do this. So. And then you play So what, I'm, what am I playing? I'm playing two, one, two, five, 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 and then. So let me do that again. So I'm playing. So let me start again. So I'm playing one. So that is simply one. Five. So two, one, two, five. Then then mute the G string. Then then from the one to the two. Play the one to the two. And then play the four. So you hammer on the two. Four. Two, four, two, one. So, so one, two, four, two, four, two, one. Then after that, you play. So you slide to the six, so the F sharp, 
But when you play this, it has to be by where the B is, not here. So let me play. So this is what I mean. I'll go very slow. So I'm playing. So you see what I did? I slid. It's very quick, like. Because when we play to the speed of the song, it will be. So you basically slide very fast. Um, but of course, if you want to take it slow, then the next part will be, so we do the, the same thing. So two, one, two, then. So before we played, but, but now we're playing two, sorry, five, six, five, 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 six, five, five. Then, so let me explain. So after that you play do 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 so you play the six five so five six five six five two 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 one then again two one two do 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 same thing we'll play in the beginning so five five then the same thing do, do, do. Again, then two, one, two, do, 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 do. I appreciate that I might be going a bit fast, so please slow the video down. Um, I'm trying my best to explain it in a way that everyone would understand. But like I said, the most important thing is the technique. So if you haven't practiced the technique before learning this song, it will be very, very difficult. So try to understand the technique first, try to practice it, and then come back to this video. But um, once you master the muting, the bass line will be much easier. So, but slow the video down and try to practice, try to break every single part and practice that part and don't move on to the next until you've figured out how to play that part. So this is only 30 seconds of the song. So the way I practice it is, I practice every five seconds of those 30 seconds instead of just playing the whole thing at once. So if it's just this I'm practicing, I'll do that over and over again. Even if it takes me a day to learn that, I will still do it because I'm not in a rush. So. Um, just take your time, slow it down, and always practice it very, very slow. So, so that was the next part. So, do 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 do. So, five six five 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 six five 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 one. Then again, two one two. Then five six five five, and then we we go to the four for the last bar. So after playing the do 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 so the do 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 then do 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 do. One, two, one. Sorry, one, two, one, not one, two, one. Two, one, two. And again. Da, do, do, da, do, 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 do. Four. So we'll play the four. So then we slide to the two. We slide. And we play the, the kick, the bass drum here on the where the C sharp is. 
So. So. I'm going to I'm going to explain. So we have we slide to the two. So then play the one. Then so. Then again, five, six, five, five, mute. Then one, four, sorry, one, four, one. So let me demonstrate. Sorry, I'll play. So I know that some of you may be beginners and this baseline may be a bit complicated, but like I said, watch my videos on the correct seven technique because the seven technique will also help you with this using your left thumbs. It's the same thing that we apply for Humba, Congolese Humba. And also, if you're a beginner, I can also simplify this baseline and you can play this. Instead of playing all of this, you can play. So all I'm playing is two, one, two, four, so four, then the octave. So that's a simple way that you can play if you're a beginner and it will help you to understand what I'm playing in terms of the actual bass line from the song. So this is a good exercise for you guys to practice this thumb technique. So all you want to play is... So all I'm playing is... So play that over and over again and even if it's complicated don't give up keep going even myself when I try to learn songs it does take me time because I'm trying to learn the technique it's much harder to copy what someone is playing rather than playing your own thing so if I was to play my own thing it'll be much easier but because you're trying to copy exactly what a person is playing it might be more difficult but um, watch this video over and over again come back to it come back to the parts that you don't understand and eventually you will understand, trust me. I've been in the same position as a beginner and I used to find it frustrating to learn certain Congolese bass lines, but um, eventually I got there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please hit the subscribe button and like this video and comment below if you found it helpful and let me know if you have any suggestions and I'll try my hardest to work through those suggestions and see you next time.